picked up this side of town. It's really good fun being in the, um, in the uh, underbelly caves. We're, we're inside a bridge, technically. Actual cave systems in the cow getting put venues in there, which is great. You know? Welcome to the White Belly, this phenomenal air raid shelter that they've put me in here at the, uh, the underbelly. It's a fantastic venue, uh, at least it will be when it's finished. It shouldn't really be about big production values, and um, it should be about what can you do with your imagination in a simple space. Oh, yeah. There's a really great buzz in the venue since just since the off. We have four venues, we have 12 performance spaces, we have 100, 127 shows a day, um, and we should sell about 180,000 tickets. What I've noticed is above and beyond the fact that the underbelly is now very much in the top flight of venues, the very fact that somebody broke that whole if you're not on the Pleasance, forget it thing, which was very much the case for a good few years, the very fact that, that means broken means a whole bunch of other venues suddenly got a bit more of a spring in their step. We decided we would do this show. We've been working very hard on it and rehearsing all the fiddly bits. So the other night we had Tim Minchin on, which was a bit of a coup because he's only in town for three or four days. But I may just have to murder James Blunt. They've, they've had a good balance of, of really new people and like not only are they connected to what's up and coming, but they also have a feel for, um, for the heritage acts. I really like Tom Basden. Richard the Hunter. Uh, Reginald. <laughs> ah, Reginald the Hunter. And I, I thought Glenn Wall was fantastic as well. Get me my chicken. You know, so between us, we've got really good relationships with the press, and, and because of Underbelly's reputation, a, a lot of the press, they really want to find the next big thing, and previously we've had Fringe First winners, uh, Will Adamsdale won the pair, was a complete unknown, Gary Strange was also a complete unknown when he won Best Newcomer. The first award for the It's a really lovely feel here, I mean, especially being in the cow in the courtyard. Um, uh, <laughs> how often do you get to say that to things in your life? And so we really needed a space that was going to, we could we could put kind of bigger comedians in. So Stuart Lee, Reggie Hunter this year, Reggie Hunter last year, Jerry Sadovitz. I love the cow. Getting that bleeding monstrosity of an inflatable cow at a Bristow place is not only really re-established this as an, an absolute hope of the festival. What's great about it is that it's a big, bold statement which offers a really, really professional theatre inside, but also is a bit fun, is a bit unusual. It's an amazing space, um, which I think lends itself to a really festival, a festive atmosphere. The space is probably one of the best ones that we've had for this show. It's, it's, not, it's sort of not too big, but it's big enough to get a, a really happy vibe, happy, um, loud happy vibe going on. And... To be able to take Underbelly and our brand and what we do out to other festivals, to other cities, to other towns. And, and and with the cow, we can now do that. You get that feeling, you know, when you, you've seen, you know, circus tents or, or the Spiegel tent or any other thing like that. But this one is different because it's still got a theatre feeling. I think the space lends itself to, uh, to circus and, and drumming and, and such stuff that has uh, collar and movement. The audiences have been really nice. People from everywhere. Uh, but it's great. It's so loud. And... They're, they're quite getting into the humour of the whole piece the last few days. Well, we've had, like, 200 in it if Pretty you can have more fun with the audience and you can you can hear it differently. Nice and responsive. Late at night, this place is packed. The lowest we've had in is about 60 or 70 and it still feels fine. And, and, and it, with a few people are tearing up at the end. My lot are sitting here like... Do they surely not? When's he gonna say... Mm -hmm. All I know is horses and fighting! I think that what we strive to do is to put a load of shows on and the best environment in which it can perform. And this is a real festival hub. The experience here is great, I love it. It's unpretentious, it's just great fun. It's been a really easy experience and it's the best festival in, in the world. Any, and anyone here who's done 
you know, Adelaide or Melbourne or Montreal or, or anywhere else will tell you that. If you're in Britain in August and you're not doing something else, you have no excuse not to be there.